taking away the material is crucial after mowing with the scythe to promote biodiversity and take away nutrients from the soil. It is a large part of the job. First we rake the material together in small heaps. Now we will see one example of how the raking can be done. Try to get like a, a quarter. Yeah, a sausage, a sausage. Yeah, sort of. and then I go on each side for a bit. Then I try when I do the middle, I put my foot this way. So I sort of make it like a. You would do it like this, twist it. Yeah, twist it. Yeah. yeah. But if you twist, I mean, if you do this side and then you do the middle, I don't. I think it will. Everything will follow. So yeah. I, I want a twisting motion, I would say. Yeah. But it make it stick together. Yeah. Will it stick? It won't twist out when you. Depends on the <laughs> on the hands, I guess. But I think you had a, a good uh, technique, and it it reminds of uh, something like that. that After raking the material together, we build a structure, a hay rack or hay fence, where we can dry the material. The hay fence should be with one end to the south and the other to the north. This makes the sides facing east and west and in this way the sun dries both sides equally. The material for building the hay fence are conical poles and wire or string. This can be done in many ways. The first thing is to put the poles steadily into the ground. You try not to put them straight but to point to the side one to the left and then one to the right to make the construction stable. Wire is used to make racks for the different layers. Wire is fixed between the poles about 50 centimeters from the ground and then in layers with 50 centimeters between the horizontal wires. First the wire is mounted on one side of the poles and then the wire is mounted on the other side of the poles so that a wire rack is constructed for the hay to be placed upon. When the wire rack is finished the hay can be put on the construction. You can like fold it over and not making the layers. I think I think we're just a single layer. We're, we're satisfied here already. When one layer is being finished with hay. It is time to build a new layer above with string and with hay, 50 centimeters above the finished one, and then another at the top. In this film, we only build one layer. What we learned from this teacher last year was that no more than three days on the ground. Oh. If you leave this for more than three de days on the ground, you, you might as well uh, skip the whole procedure with the hay making. You can dry it on the ground as well and turn it every day. Then, then you don't need to do that. Uh, so that's good. But the important thing for us as gardeners to know is that we have to remove the material. Otherwise, uh, we, we don't need to go out with the site. Uh, so the material has to be removed. And we do different things with the material. Some, some is used as uh, hay for animals, uh, uh, and some is used uh, in a compost, and some, some materials are brought to the, 
uh, the ride school horses uh, as fresh material. This is good. We can bring it immediately to the to the horses. So remove the material is uh, crucial, and that's uh, that's something that we wanted to to um, to um, focus on this afternoon. And uh, also we 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 all see that this. This is a large part of the job and it takes a lot of time and we haven't really developed methods to, to make this more efficient. Uh, so, so we're still using the rakes and uh, carrying the hay around and, and doing it like the old uh, days.